So, as I was saying, I had kidney failure, like lots of fog, lots of brain fog, complete exhaustion. Doctor saying you have kidney failure. And I went to meet Muji for a one-to-one. -one. And, um, and he asked me, I'd been doing this thing, I called it the observer or self-inquiry. Mm. And I, 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 could, I could experience something like a witnessing. And he said, like, well, what's witnessing? What's witnessing the witnesser? Who's witnessing the witnesser? And I had a white light spiritual experience, which I can only describe as infinite light, love and power. Um, I can, can't really, really use words for it. One moment, I, w I was exhausted, mm -hmm. full of fog. I had pain, I had a gout attack going there. Mm. So I was, my foot was in pain and swollen. And then, what, and then he was asking, what's observing my observer? And then suddenly there was no world. I didn't exist, he didn't exist. There was no world, there was nothing. You, and there was just... You kept on talking after that? I'm not aware of anything. I wasn't there. Okay. So it was just like, just like infinite light, love and power mm -hmm. beyond anything. And The Course in Miracles has a line. Mm -hmm. Imagine the happiest moment you've experienced in this life and times it by a hundred and times it by a hundred again. And then you still would only have a glimpse of what it's like. And that, I, I, when I read that in The Course in Miracles, I realized that was true. It's like infinite power and it's like so much light and love that thought can't exist, mm -hmm. no separation, no shadows, no world can exist, nothing can exist. It's that intense, the love mm -hmm. and the light. And then what happened, I mean, I can only describe it, what seemed to happen was a thought emerged in the impossible, like a thought emerged, and suddenly the world existed. But this time, it was like absolute bliss and ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and then, I, I, you know, obviously I don't remember, Muji talks a little bit about it, he says uh, apparently he was like this body was talking like the Buddha or something. Yeah, but anyway, he says that. He says that. Anyway, so and then he, I remember being ushered out, and it was like mm -hmm. it was like absolute ecstasy and oneness, and everything was just stunningly beautiful. Actually, it was a winter day when I went in, but it was summer as I came out. Mm -hmm. So it was like everything was in like technicolor, and beautiful and ecstasy. And actually, what what also was realized was you know I came in with um, with like gout pain in my foot, there was no pain, it gone in one second, mm. like the, the pain. And also, you know, exhaustion, tiredness, all gone in like a millisecond by connecting into the light. So just to be in the experience of the infinite for just even a, a little glimmer of a second mm -hmm. can take away everything, you know. So it's all an illusion. It's just part of the collective illusion. As, as let, of course, Lesson 14 says, I have my personal beliefs, which is my nightmare, mm -hmm. and then there are the collective belief systems of humanity, which we all agree to agree to. Mm -hmm. You know, like things like kidney failure and Prunes. gout and sugar, yes. and we're in a nightmare, and we all agree to this nightmare, mm -hmm. and so we experience it. But actually, it's not real. Mm -hmm. it's, just a, it's just a shared, uh, a shared illusion. So, and, you know, and Hawkins, uh, Hawkins had let go of 23 illnesses, if you just feel out your feelings, like, okay, just, just very quickly, like kidney failure. There's a few things with kidney failure. Kidney failure, you feel exhausted, so you have to feel out the exhaustion. Mm -hmm. or sit down and feel out all your exhaustion until you can't feel it. If you sit with exhaustion, maybe after an hour or two or three, I'd feel light. You just sit it out, feel it out, feel out the exhaustion on a regular basis. With a gout attack, I'd sit with my foot on a pillow and just allow it, allow the feeling to be experienced and just feel, don't resist, feel and then eventually uh, you can go off into peace and, and uh, so asthma, uh, I'm, not, I'm not giving medical advice so this is just what I did, I'm not trying to give take advice of your doctor but instead of, you know, I would feel out, I can't breathe yes. I would feel that out until it passed, you know, without, without, so every time these things happen I'd, I'd sit with them and what happened was the gout attacks became less frequent and less intense. The asthma, you know, the asthma attacks became less frequent. And, all, and eventually as I sat with the exhaustion, I got a transplant, so a miracle came through a transplant. I was discharged from the, uh, uh, the rheumatology clinic for gout because the gout attack stopped. Um, and uh, the uh, asthma, they discharged me from the asthma clinic because the asthma stopped. So as I felt out the feelings and cancelled the belief, like it says in lesson 14, God did not create cancer, so it's not real. God did not create kidney failure. God did not create migraines. 
God did not create pain. If you feel pain out, keep feeling the pain out, it just disappears. And the illnesses that were, the medical label, gout, disappeared as well. So they all disappeared, so you can feel them out. So this thing of, don't, don't resist and don't label, cancel the label. Because if you believe you've got an illness and keep believing it, then it can manifest, so you have to cancel. We'll do that later on. And they just feel out, once you feel out the feelings, in my experience, these illnesses start to disappear. Once you've felt out all the repressed feelings, if you've got some kind of problem, you know, in your hands or your skin or something, if you just keep feeling it out. Mm -hmm. My experience is when you start, you can't experience anything, you've felt everything out from the gout, from the kidney failure, from the things. It's like, my experience was the universe comes in with a miracle once you've felt it out. And, you know, so it's like, you know, I don't use asthma inhalers, I don't have to carry a walking stick. Um, you know, I'm not on a machine. It's like the universe just finds a way to release these things after you've done the work of feeling out and not believing in this thing. It's, it's an illusion. So you can feel out, uh, you know, Hawkins let go of 23 illnesses, I let go of 3 illnesses. People who've been doing this have been coming to the group and reporting miracles when, when they fill this stuff up. So these illnesses for me, you know, uh, you can, you, uh, you know miracles are possible.